I have played a lot of hard games and Returnal simply isn't one of them. Oh, you don't believe me? Well, this is the boss fight against Lemesis. Not the hardest boss in the game, but he is quite tough. Looking at this footage, you might be thinking, wait, something ain't right. Yes indeed, something isn't right here. It almost feels like I am not even trying, and yet I am not dying. Au contraire, Nemesis is actually one sneeze away from obliteration. My health is maxed out, I have over 7, 7 healing items and the possibility of reusing some thanks to an artifact. But let's assume that I magically die. Well, I will come back. With even more health, Jesus Christ. After watching this video, there is no way. You can still think Returnal is a hard game. It almost feels like the game is at times too easy, but the reason why you might still struggle is because you are just playing it the wrong way. So let me tell you a secret. The key to beating Returnal and becoming an absolute menace. Are you ready? Okay, hey, hey. here's a secret. Take your time and explore every single biome thoroughly. There you go, that's it. You know the secret recipe to becoming a badass now. Mm, but I can I can tell. You are a little bit skeptical, aren't you? Okay, no problem. I got you. It is important to know that Returnal does not require a lot of skill. In my opinion, this game is 80% based on luck and 20% actual skill. It implies that you could potentially make it through the entire game without actually tapping into the skill requirements. That's crazy, right? Right. And the game is divided in 6 different biomes and 2 chapters. Every time you die before reaching the 4th biome, you will have to restart all the way back to the 1st biome. But upon beating poor Nemesis, you will finally, finally reach chapter 2 and now every time you die a painful death, you will start from the 4th biome. This roguelike system is essentially the source of all the frustration in the gaming community. Imagine grinding for 3 hours just to die and have to restart. Well, that's where the problems start. In my experience, people get so frustrated that the next time they spawn, they want to immediately go back to where they were. Doing so, they most likely guarantee certain death, <laughs> unless they are really, really, really good. Rushing through a level is the very last thing you want to do. And here's a list of all the things you would miss out on by skipping the very deep and thorough exploration. You don't want to miss out on some very useful artifacts, which can completely change the outcome of an encounter. For example, I never had to heal while using my consumables. I had an artifact which would automatically repair my integrity based on my adrenaline level. Kinda neat! You also have some healing items and some other consumables like a shield which can protect you against any kind of attack. Except melee attacks, of course, <laughs> of course. And that shield alone makes certain boss fights straight up unfair for the bosses. Ether is a currency you use to gain access to the Reconstructor, that device which allows you to come back to life upon death. But you can also use Ether to clean some items allowing you to acquire the items without getting hit by a possible malfunction. And on top of that, you can even use said ether to unlock artifacts and consumables for your next runs. It is tied to so many mechanics in the game, it will be a shame if you just keep the gathering process. And now let's talk about the enemies. While some people might think that having to fight less enemies is great, they couldn't be more wrong. Defeating hostiles will reward you with obolite, that currency you use to acquire upgrades and items at fabricators. Some enemies will also drop weapons which could be more powerful than the one you're carrying here for. And the level of that weapon is directly linked to your proficiency level. If you are able to kill a lot of enemies without getting hit too often, well, you will get more proficiency and thus better weapons sooner than expected. Oh parasites, our dear beloved. Parasite. In case you don't know, I mean, how could you? <laughs> but parasites offer positive and negative effects. You should always, always take the time to choose your parasites wisely, since they can either grant you amazing passive effects, like reducing your chances of finding malignant items, or complete you and your runs. So choose, but choose wisely. 
My advice is to almost always try your luck with malignant items. Unless you get a really inconvenient malfunction, you will always be able to fix it. Eternal will greatly reward you for taking risk and you definitely want to have a nice synergy with your artifacts and parasites. Just be careful not to get anything which can hinder your ability to dash or melee. Enemy counter on hit is also a very nasty, nasty downside. Avoid it at all costs. As of right now, I can confidently go from the first biome to the very last one without dying. And you can do as well, provided you actually take your time and explore each biome. Use your Atropian keys to open doors or access new areas. By the time you leave the biome, there shouldn't be any area you haven't been at. Hopefully, I was able to convince you. And next time you boot the game, you can make it to the end. Returnal can be quite frustrating at times, but trust me, it is not as hard as people make it out to be. Good luck.